Okay, so let's get into the arrangement of this track. In the last session, we came up with some melodic ideas, basically just kind of wrote down some chord structures and a couple little phrases to kind of give us some material to work with. And now we can go ahead and arrange and structure all that material together to make some sort of cohesive idea and a flow of an idea of an idea basically. Uh, so in the last session, let's listen to some of what we came up with. Uh, this is gonna be usable, I think. The, all these notes right here, we'll, we'll be able to probably come up with a nice uh, top layer lead here. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and grab the chord structure that we wanted to use originally. I believe that was right here. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go with that chord structure. And let's go ahead and arrange some keys just so we can kind of build the, the breakdown verse here. Uh, so first we already have an open MIDI track ready for us. So I like to use already the dash piano, but sometimes I prefer a uh, preset in Keyscape called Cinematic. It is the LA Custom C7 cinematic. It has a nice vibe to it, I find. Sometimes I like, just like to switch it up. Let's take a listen to how it sounds by itself. Now it's not as bright. I have to add some EQ to it a little bit. So you can see what I'm kind of getting at here. It's a nice, soft, let's try to actually add some different character. Let's try studio. Yeah, I like that one a lot better. Bring in some warmth a little bit. Okay, now let's go ahead and adjust some velocities here to kind of give some more character to this chord section. So you can see, you see one straight line for all these notes, that means they're all exactly the same velocity. We do not want that. So we want to highlight all the notes, hit randomize, just to kind of give us a starting point here. And obviously some of these are way lower than others, so we want to adjust that. Now the best way to get this to sound good is a little manual labor here. Uh, just gotta adjust each note accordingly until it sounds clean and exactly the way you want it. Now, if you hit randomize, it'll give you a nice reference point to start off with. Uh, but as you can see, you have to kind of adjust because sometimes it makes them do things you don't want it to do. Let's 
Let's adjust this note. That might be out of scale. Okay. Okay, so now we can kind of add more uh, notes to this chord structure here to give it a thicker feel. You can hear how the harmonics work in that. It kind of added a little more character, a little more of a vibe. Let's bring it down as far as the velocity. Okay, and then now let's add a little bit of some multi-band dynamics on here. Actually, you know what? Let's go even further and grab some OTT. This is a trick I like to do sometimes. Um, basically, just put the amount of OTT way down. Same with the output right here. And then drag these guys all the way up, just for the mids and the highs, though. We don't really want to add too much of the low. Maybe actually, you know what, let's boost it a little bit, just down to there. Let's try combining that with this guy up here. Now I can hear the low end a little bit. Okay, we got something going here. Okay, so this will work for the chord, like the foundation basically for the breakdown here for the keys. Obviously I have it in the wrong section here. We want to put that right over here. 